All right, the next state is back on the mainland, South Australia. Its capital is Adelaide. Um, some facts about South Australia is that it is um, known for its shipbuilding industry, not just ships, but also submarines. It also produces wool, wheat, and wine. So I always try to remember, you know, wool, wheat, and wine, www. So um, put that in the South, South Australia fact. And its cities also, I've selected ones that start with a W, Wooma, Woomera, and Wyala. All right, so South Australia, again, you can see it's in the southern part of Australia, so it's very easy to identify on the map as one of the states. Um, Adelaide is the capital right here along the coast, and again, um, a lot of major cities, but they are in the south, um, not so much in the north, as you can see, because again, the further north and west you get, more of desert and mountains. All right, moving on, Western Australia, also called the Western Third because it is a very large state and it's a third of Australia. It is um, a state and its capital is Perth. Um, it is the largest state, which I already mentioned, and it produces over 100 trillion tons of iron. So it has a lot of iron ore deposits. And in the northern part of Western Australia is where the Aborigine re reservations are located, a lot like how um, the British came to the United States and forced Native Americans on reservations. They did the same thing to the Aborigines in Australia, and that's where the concentration of Aborigines, Native Aborigines, are located in Australia today. Cities are Broome and Koolyanabing. What you're going to find out about Australia's cities is that they are definitely uniquely named, Broome and Koolyanabing. All right, so Western Australia, or the Western Third, you can see um, on the eastern side, you've got the Great Sandy Desert, the Gibson Desert, and the Great Victoria Desert. So it's primarily deserts. There are, um, again, a couple of mountains as well. Most of the cities, because of that, are along the coast, including Perth, the capital. Um, and again, in the north is where um, the Aborigine reservations are located. And again, why did the British allow reservations to be in Western Australia, not the rest, because it's not great territory. It's mostly desert. So it wasn't land that they wanted. All right, moving on, Northern Territory. It is a territory, hence the reason why it's called Northern Territory. And what that means is a state has their own government, which reports back to the federal government. A territory does not have its own government. It is run specifically by the federal government. Its capital is Darwin, named after Charles Darwin, which might be somebody you studied at some point in science class. He studied the idea of evolution of animals. He studied a lot of animals on islands simply because they were isolated. And that's what makes a lot of islands have unique animals because they can't leave and so they're only found on certain islands and also um, to survive they have to evolve so he did a lot of research dealing with evolution all right fact um, most of the land of this is also deserts um, and cattle stations so it has a lot of ranches in this region um, a natural resource is manganese, which is used, it's flammable, so it's used in dynamite and fireworks, things along those lines. And it's probably most well known for um, the tourist attraction known as Ayers Rock, which ironically is known as the world's largest red pebble or the world's largest monolith. And um, this is, again, a, one and a half miles long. It looks like a rock sticking right out of um, the desert. Um, it's over a thousand feet above the desert floor. Um, and there's also lots of caves and um, rock paintings very similar to what we studied in Europe with um, the two caves of Altamira um, and um, you know, the other European caves that we've studied. Um, it's iconic at sunset because of the red material, the red-ish material that it's made up of um, is 
um, it really reflects the the orangey glow of the sun so at about sunset the Ayers Rock really looks orangey and so that's where you get lots of these pictures from all right um, other cities in Northern Territory are Alice Springs and Rum Jungle. Who wouldn't want to live in a city called Rum Jungle, right? All right, so let's label Northern Territory. It's obviously in the north. Darwin is along the coast. You can see that. Um, and again, in, this, in the southern part, you've got um, mountain ranges. you got the Simpson Desert. And then in the northwest side, you have the Great Sandy Desert. All right. Um, Last state is Queensland, of course, named after the Queen. Its capital is Brisbane. Um, it is known for the Great Barrier Reef, which is the world's largest coral reef. And then when we study Latin America, I said Belize is known for the second la largest barrier reef. So, of course, here you have coral reefs, which attract a lot of fishermen. It attracts a lot of unique fish um, and sea creatures. Great for scuba diving, snorkeling. Um, so it's iconic for that. Um, it is, of course, named after the Queen of England. And its cities are, besides Brisbane, are Gladstone, Cairns, Toowoomba, and Townsville. Lots of cities in Queensland. And you can see that, that again, they're all along the coast because the Great Barrier Reef is one of the biggest tourist attractions. Plus, the mountains kind of protect um, inland. So a lot of the cities are along the coast.